You know, you're in free agency now. No problem going to Showtime to make that fight happen? Well, for, for one, there's nothing different than, than uh, starting out, you know, being a free agent. Um, Devin is, owns his own company. He signed to his company, which is Devin Haney Promotions. Devin Haney Promotions has the ability, even though we, we, we had a great co-promotional agreement with uh, Eddie Hearn and Matchroom Boxing, we always had the ability to make the biggest and the best fights happen, right? Uh, of course, with Eddie Hearn's uh, um, allegiance to match uh, to not DAZN. only Matchroom, of course, but to the zone more importantly, right, might have discouraged some of these fights from happening uh, publicly. What we wanted to do was was kill that notion that Devin wasn't and isn't the kind of fighter that can make the best fight happen on whatever network is available. And uh, of course, having the zone, having the zone, like Eddie has talked about, is great because you have the security that you know that a network will buy the fight, will put up the money, right? So, you know what I mean? It's, uh, it's, it's, it's good for both fighters. It's good for both, both fighters because the, the company I'm sure that puts up the most money is a company that the, the one fighter would, that, or either fighter would want, to, want it to be on. Right. So whether I mean, it's... You know, whether it's the zone or whether it's Showtime. ESPN even, whether, or, yeah. or Triller. Whatever, what, whatever, right. whatever, whatever the network. And that's according to uh, 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 Eddie Hearn himself. That's out, out, of, out of his mind. That he'll, he'll continue to, to work with you guys. Correct. Even if Dev fights on other networks. Which, Correct. Which might be completely necessary to make them fights happen. Right, Bill? Correct. So, Correct. Correct. Um, do you think... Because everybody wants to see Devin and Javante Davis fight one day. That Floyd being receptive to Roley means one day he'll be receptive and we could see a Devin versus Tank on Absolutely. On paper. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm hopeful. That's that's what that's what I look that's the way that I look at it as being a positive sign. Um, you know what I mean? But first things first, uh, is is Roley Romero. Obviously, Tank Davis is at 140 pounds now, and they're talking about him even fighting at 147. So, Against you know Thurman. I mean? right. Yeah, so the thing that brought us together or or, or made us cross, cross paths is actually being in the same weight class. So by him being at 140 and 147, I know it's not a fight that, that, that we're looking to, we're not looking to go to 140 on our next fight. We're looking to defend the WBC world title. After you saw him against Barrios, did you say, you know, out of all these these young guys, the Kings, that they discussed my son fighting, this guy's the most dangerous. Did you did you think that to oh, yourself? Absolutely. I yeah. mean, Tank has always uh -huh. Tank has always been the most dangerous fighter of uh, of those of those future uh, or possible opponents mm -hmm. together. Um, that makes no mistake about it. I didn't need to see him against Mario Barrios for me to know that. I just know that you know stylistically. You know, Devin presents some problems for Tank, just like Tank pres presents uh, a great deal of uh, 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 dangerous power to Devin as well.